my beautiful people, it's your girl Kyra Kyla Shea, whatever you want to say, and I am back with another video. If you're a new viewer, what's good, what's popping? If you're a return subscriber, what's good, what's popping as well, okay? Okay. So today's video is going to be for you. And what I mean by that is, I want, like, last week we talked about making yourself a priority, and I'm standing strong on that. I want you to make this about you. This is your life, not anyone else's. This is a safe space where we're literally talking about you. And I'm part of the you as well. Like, I'm really pouring into myself. I'm not playing. I'm not. Like, I am doing the most for the remainder of my life at this point. I want to do the best I can. Like, I read the book, The Four Agreements, and one of them was always to do your best. And so, listen, I'm going to do my best. No more complaining. No more playing victim. Mm, mm, mm. No more complaining with no solutions. Done. Okay. So... This is about you. This is for you. You know how videos be like, I don't know who needs to hear this. It's one of them type of videos, okay? Okay. So if you guys are ready to do a good deep dive, let's get straight into it. But before we get into the video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notifications and make sure you guys are following on social media. Okay, so we have our food. We don't have our career today, so I have to just set up by myself. But it's okay. So we don't have any alcohol today. This is just strawberry lemonade. Listen, I've had a long day. Even though I know... Oh, see, I've had a long day. I gotta plug up the light. Y'all, it's already starting. We ain't even start filming yet. Oh my gosh, hold on. So like I was saying, I don't have any alcohol today. Just strawberry lemonade. And then I had maybe some shrimp salad sliders and put me some french fries in the oven so we can eat. So make sure you guys have y'all a meal and a little drink or something so we can just really get into our conversation. We're basically having like a little lunch date right now it's 2 40 so it's about lunch time so let's get into it so really honestly my biggest thing when it comes to like life overall is like when i realize that outside world doesn't really exist if you don't want it to and hold on mm -hmm. what i mean by that is like when it comes to you and you know your world Whatever you want to tune out, you can tune out. You have control more than you really do think that you have control over certain things. Like, you know how when someone makes you mad or whatever, you have more control over that of not being mad than allowing them to make you mad. Like, you can literally just instantly stop. Isn't that so cool? Like, literally, it's, it's something. And I think a lot of times we don't think of it that way because we're so in the moment we're mad. But, like, honestly, you can tell yourself, like, stop. It's not that serious. Or stop. Calm down. You can say these things to yourself or you can say it in your head or whatever. But honestly, you have control over that part of yourself. And it's really like a mind thing in a sense of, oh, I did ask y'all. I'm sorry, hold on. I asked y'all for some suggestions as to what I should cook. I was going to do like an egg boil with like some shrimp. So a seafood boil in a sense because my dad's a seafood boil. That was a lot of work. So I didn't do that. But next, I'm gonna use the ideas y'all gave me for the next video, okay? So thank y'all. But once I had noticed that about myself or like the how in control you are of your life. Now granted, yes, God is above us all. And it's more so when it comes to like your mindset. You can even ask God, like you can tell him like, can you please be patient so you can do this right now? You know how you wouldn't be asked these things, but also it's a switch. Just stop. And when it comes to me, like when I overthink or whatever the case is, I literally just tell myself to stop. So if you're an overthinker, you're a people pleaser, um, you get irritated easily, all the negative things, these are things that you can control to a certain extent. Now, granted, if it's something where the temper is like out of this world, where you feel like you need some therapy, you need some medication, whatever the case may be, I'm not telling you not to go get that done, but I'm just saying you do have the control over your body more than you really think. Um, once you once you have a more clear mind, a lot of times our minds are so cloudy, but you know, more so my mom always tells me, you're in control of your own happiness. And like, as of lately, I've really just been tapping into myself. Like, I've really just been trying to make myself happy and, you know, stay happy. That's key, staying happy. Um, I mean, some days you'll have your bad days. Granted, that's fine. That's cool. You're going to have bad days. Don't feel like every day is supposed to be a good day because it's not. That's not realistic. You can have more good days consistently, yes, but you're not going to have a good day every day. So don't look, don't have that high expectations because then you'll get upset. Now you're up. Now you're overthinking. Now, oh, Lord, let's take our first bite. Mm. Mm -hmm. I usually put celery in here instead of onions, but I don't got more celery, so. But finding the things that make you happy is really where you should really start when it comes to you and, like, you know, focusing on you. 
and like you know i got me a nice little iv drip because honestly i was feeling i had a real mean migraine i just kind of felt like a little little drain a little bit but i got me a nice iv drip and honestly listen i was scared to get iv drips in the beginning i was honestly but for one having a nurse that you're comfortable with a nurse that's knowledgeable a nurse that's been in the field for a while um a nurse that's knowledgeable again but you know so that they can educate you on what you're getting so i did get my b12 i got my biotin i had got my magnesium what else did she give me um my vitamin c um and she also gave me some teradol because i was having a really bad migraine so i honestly i'm tapping into different parts to just make me feel good you know got me a nice facial i went to solid core like listen my now my body is very sore right now i but i am making sure that my body is happy like i want to take care of myself and yes i'm gonna have a good little drain here and there you know that i'm not probably gonna stop that i've had to do i i have done like a detox from drinking before like two months i stopped drinking so i know i can do it i can do it again i just don't feel like it like i still want a good little drink you know a little happy hour i deserve a happy hour i will be happy if i can get to a happy hour you know just having that moment to myself you know the quietness like in here it's very quiet in here i don't really have the tv on ever um i'm always journaling i'm always um either consuming some content uh, I'm always in my prayer journal. I'm, I'm always doing something. So where you find yourself right now, you are on the path that God wanted you to be on. But also to think about sometimes you are in a testing season. You are having a lesson that you need to learn. And I listen, listen. I was put in situations multiple times because I didn't learn my lesson. At some point, we gotta hold ourselves accountable because. You can't point the blame nowhere else but inward. It's about you. So if you feel as though you're still in the same position and you don't feel like you're just wondering why, there's always a why, but it's not. you don't need to be worried about the why. You need to focus on what you can do. Not what you can't do. Stop complaining about what you can't do. It ain't fixing nothing. In a sense of, like I tell people when it comes to content creation, like let's not focus on what we don't have. Let's focus on what we do have. You complaining and saying, oh, I need a new space, so I'm going to wait. You don't even have a set date on when you think you may move, or you don't even know when you may do this. Like, utilize what you have. Make the best of what you have. So that goes with anything in life. You don't know your next move fully unless you have a secure date. But if you don't have a secure date, you're just waiting. You're letting life pass you by. Like, let's make something out of it. So let's make a new you, in a sense. You know, like, it's really more so... Like with me tapping into my beauty maintenance, tapping into my wellness and this my fitness journey again, like all these things, I'm I'm getting the gears grinded back up because I want to be in a better space. Like I want to feel good. When you feel good, you look good. Or as you look good, you feel good. Both ways go, ho, oh, whatever. <laughs> Sometimes you do just need to hear just that keep going or just that you're 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 fine. Like you you will be fine. Everything will be fine. And it's like, you know, we make jokes and, you know, things like that. But at the end of the day, in all honesty, each day that God wakes you up, it's another opportunity to achieve whatever it is that he gave you the vision to see. And if you don't have that vision yet, that's what you need to be focusing on. Asking God to give you the vision. Because if you don't see where you want to, if you don't see your future self, or you don't see, you know, any type of success coming down the line, ask God to show you just a little bit of it. Just something, if you can touch it a little bit. I'll be asking, listen. And when I, let me give you, let me, okay, let me share, let me share something with y'all. Hold on. I think I shared it before. I just can't remember on what video. But I remember, um, was it last year? So it was in 2023, I believe, around, or no, it was it 2022, November-ish. I think it was around that time. I can't remember. But I can't remember, I can't remember the full dates, but all in all, I remember I was so stressed out one day and I was just like, I kind of had like a little mini panic attack like in my head though. It wasn't nothing crazy. I was just very overwhelmed and I was with my friend Kennedy and it was her birthday. Well, I was celebrating her birthday with her because it was a happy hour or whatever. And earlier in the day, I was asking God just to show me more or show me what my life is supposed to be like, you know? And when I tell you it was an instant thing, it was so instant. Because I lied, you know, I was so overwhelmed with doing graphic designs. As you guys know, I stopped doing graphic design. And that was 
that day I decided, I said, you know what? I'm not doing graphic design anymore. Because when I asked God to show me more, I literally enjoyed my happy hour with my friend. And I always wanted to just be able to just enjoy a happy hour without the stress of thinking, oh, I gotta finish this or I have to do this. I want to go to happy hour once I'm done all my work and enjoy what I gotta do. But the way that I was set up with my graphic designing, I was not happy. And that's why I said, you need to be happy. And granted, I know everybody's situation is different. So I'm not telling you to quit doing whatever you're doing, but just try to find a way around it until you can quit whatever it is that you're doing. I don't like this up, I'm telling nobody really to quit whatever it is you're doing because if you need to make some money, you need to make some money. The bills ain't gonna pay itself. So we gotta find ways to work around it. But all like I said, I literally enjoyed my time out with my friend without having to worry or think. I had refunded a babe for her design because I just, I simply could not do it. I, I couldn't do it. I just gave her her money back. I said, you know what? I can't even sit here and do this right now. And it was just so much on my mind, so much pressure on me that I wanted to be, that I wanted to release off of me. And when I asked God to show me what I'm working towards, what is, what is the, not, not the angle, but what, is it that's so great like i said when i had went out and i had a great time i just felt so free i felt great and i wanted to feel like that more often so i put myself first so i said you gotta put yourself first and i said you know what i'm gonna close this door of graphic design and that was my biggest money maker but it was my biggest stressor as well so i just had to put my faith in god that he was going to help me figure everything out i mean honestly he already had to plan out i just wanted to see i guess i wanted to see what how it's going to you know turn around but when i tell you i enjoy my day so much more now two years is it how, when did i stop doing graphic design a year year and a half i can't think right now but i'm way happier happier mentally i am way better mentally <laughs> i'm way better mentally and you know i just wanted to share that with you guys because like i said when i asked god to show me he'll show he will show you regardless if it's something good or bad he'll show you and you just gotta go with it and make a decision and i made a decision to stop doing graphic design and honestly each time i try to do something in regards to graphic design for someone else knowing i said i don't want to do it anymore he shows me every time why i'm not supposed to do it and yet i do it anyway and that's that's what i mean by you're not learning the lesson that god is trying to teach you i'm not learning the lesson that god he told me to stop doing graphic design and i still do it for others I, that's a skill that I'll never lose, so I know how to do it for myself. You know, I can always do it. But when I do it for others, it's always a headache. It's, it's a headache. I, that's one thing I can't work around because he does, that's something that he has told me to leave. And I keep going against him. And that's the problem. When you go against whatever God is telling you because you want to do your own thing, it ain't going to work out. I'm just saying. And I'm speaking from experience. <laughs> um... But I just wanted to share that part with you guys because I really want you guys to know that you're not alone, but you have to make the decisions, okay? Like this, whatever you're doing, make it about you. Make it for you. Make those decisions based on what you need. Not what your parents want, not what your family want, what you want. I know what I want and I am going to... I am striving for it every day. I'm working hard towards it every day. I am deserving of it, of what I see for myself and what I want for myself. Make, I, honestly, I made my um, my vision board the other day. It might be where February. <laughs> but honestly, take give yourself grace. Take your time. Don't rush nothing. I didn't rush to make no vision board. I didn't have it made before the new year. I didn't make it on New Year's. I made it in February. Like, I... I am very strategic with a lot of things and I want it to be in a better place before I went ahead and made my vision board. I was so, it was so chaotic within the last couple months. And so it was just like, mm -mm. this is not the energy I want to have right now when I'm doing my vision board, when I'm in my prayer journal. I don't want this energy in, in this area. I want to be happy. So think of every time you wake up in the morning, think of this is for you. And, oh, and this is good too. This is for you. This is for the younger version of yourself. When, you, when you're in the mirror say this is for you, you're talking to the younger version of yourself. This is for you. So make the best of what you have and do your best. Okay? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that was, that was, that was tea. That was a good one. I would have loved to watch that, watch that video for myself. You know, like the, 
I play pop up on my home feed, this will be the video when it be like, this is for you. Wherever you're at right now in your journey of life, wherever you're at, trust me, it gets better. It does. And even when it's getting better, you have those bad days, but you're still getting better. If you look back, look deep, deep, deep back. Because you just never know, like, you know, it, you still may have something going wrong in your life. Of course, there's always going to be something going on. There's something wrong. It's always going to be something. You know, like, it's always something. It is always something. But it's where you're shifting your focus on your life. Are you going to focus on how you're behind on something? Or are you going to focus on how God got you through it before he'll get you through it again? That's my base. That's 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 where my faith stands. Why I do this? <laughs> this is that's where my faith stands because I know he got me through something before. He'll do it again. I gotta do my part. I always ask God to do your part. Your part is the biggest important part. It's doing your part because nothing's gonna happen for you. You gotta do something to get something. Take advantage of your life, y'all. Is He's giving you life every day. Be grateful. For what you have you breathe in or if there's anyone that's following me that has like you know any disabilities or you know any uh, uh sicknesses or anything like that like listen god woke you up this morning for a reason honey let's take advantage of it like that's why i'm trying to tell people that don't have disabilities or don't have any health problems or anything like you need to be very grateful because life is hard and life is harder when you have a disability or you're sick or whatever. Life is just hard, period, but it, it's 20,000 times harder. I just want everyone to just do the best that you can do. And everyone's best that you can do is different from the person next to you. So don't even worry about the what they're doing. Focus on you. This is for you. I don't know how many times you want me to say, how many times you say this is for you? Listen. I hope... You guys enjoy that. I hope this reached the right person or people, whomever. But I'm just excited for a new year. I'm just so excited for a new you, a new me, a new us, a new journey. Like it's just lots of it's we it's only up from here. It's not we won't go down unless you let yourself go down. That's it. That's it. We, we're not letting ourselves fall. We're not letting anything, we're not accepting anything less than, okay? So ha have your faith, stick beside it, and just do your part. Make sure you're happy, make sure you're taking care of yourself. Whether it's your fitness, your wellness, your beauty, your mental, all that. All that, make sure it's all good. You overall need to be happy. You're you in a circle this is this is the circle and this is you in it whatever's on the outside dang it nothing to do with you <laughs> that's you focus on you okay i focus it on me i'm excited i'm excited to finish my food honestly honestly truly i'll take a little bite with y'all i really do hope that my videos do reach you all to a certain point where it can really get you to want more for yourself you know like just a little mm, that you really need it because you just never know and i never know who may be watching my videos as to who may need to hear certain things and I like to speak on topics where I wish I could hear about it or these are things that I speak to on myself. I'm like, somebody else gotta hear this too. Somebody but it does hear this. Oh, not my food falling. You know what? But I will see you guys in another video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel, follow me on social media, and I'll see you in the next video. Mm. <laughs> Toodles. <laughs>